Okay, hi Tim. This is the alternate cadenza. If that other one is just too much, this you might like this. And I'll get a copy to you, or Rebecca will get to you. I'll play it for you first, and then I'll break it down, explain it, anything I need to explain. start at the beginning and talk about some things a little bit. At the, it's easier to do these broken arpeggios if you do if you do it as the bowing is starting up bow on that F sharp. And in the second one you see there's a C and a D together on the second line. Then at major three, which is the third line, it's not too, it's a little bit simpler than the other one, but it's the same idea. You're playing the melody. That chord does not have a fermata. The next one, at the next end of the next line, will. Then these rolling arpeggios begins with two open strings, so it's easy. And it outlines that melody too. Then here, that's also easier for the, for the follow the bowing with the up bow here. And then you just go up a position to play those harmonics. Again. rest. Then the melody continues with the same idea. Stretch. So you're in fourth position here, but third position with your first finger. And then and then these fast little snippets. might be, I have to look and see, I'm not sure, maybe that second little snippet is a, has a G-sharp, I don't remember, but anyway, so we'll, we'll check that, but you can look this over too, and um, see how it goes, the main thing is this, the hardest place is in measure six, it's just the sixth line, where you're continuing the melody, but with all these arpeggios, <laughs> And you have to stretch. So you have to keep this finger, keep that finger down the whole time. Because as you stretch, you got to keep it down because coming right back to it, then come back. And you're done. Somebody will rescue you at that point. The violas will grab your bow. Okay, that's it. Thank you.